Hello, today we are looking at sequences and in particular term to term rules. Now, we need to know what sequences and what term to term rules means. A sequence is a pattern that can be described mathematically. And term to term rules mean we are looking for the rule that describes the steps going from one part of the pattern to the next from the one part of the pattern to the next. Each part of a pattern or a sequence in mathematics is referred to as a term. So this is the first term, this is the second term, third term, fourth term, etc, etc, etc. So a term to term rule is going to give us the pattern of the steps. As normal, we're going to do a few examples and then I'm going to hand over to you to do some tasks. Likewise, we will be describing sequences using a term to term rule and then we will be generating them using a term to term rule. We've got a sequence here to start off with. 5, 7, 9, 11 and 13. Now, when we look at this sequence, it is clear that the sequence is going up. And as we move from one term to the next term, we are adding two. OK, so part of the term to term rule is add two, but we are missing a key feature. Now, if we come on and have a look at B, we'll see why. If you also look at this sequence, we are also going up and we are also adding two. But this sequence here is a different sequence to this sequence here. And the key with the sequences is not only do we need to know the steps that we are going up or the steps we are going down as we move from one part of the sequence to the next, we also need to know, she says grabbing a pen that doesn't work, bear with me. The key to this is also looking at where we start. So this sequence, we're going up in twos and we're starting from five. So the term to term rule for this sequence here is we could describe it as going up in twos, starting from five or starting from five, add two. Here we we'll look again, we're looking at the starting one and we're starting from 20. So we can describe this sequence here as starting from 20, add 2. Let's do another couple of examples before we give you some questions to do. Now, the sequences don't only have to go up, they can also go down. Again, looking at the terms, we have, we're going from one to the next, to the next, to the next. But this time, as we go through, we are going down. So we are subtracting 10. And we are starting from 100. OK. Other thing worth mentioning is the fact that some sequences will go into negative numbers. Move that so we can see it all. OK, so if I take the sequence, for example, 27, 22, 17, 12, Seven, two, ooh, just going in there, minus three. Went out of room on the page. But we can see, one colour coding, that each time we go down a step, we are subtracting five.
and we are starting starting from 27. Now all of these are examples of what we call linear sequences in the fact that the steps going down are constant and that constant is a subtraction or an addition. Okay, so that term to term rule, we have said what the, we are going down in each step, going from one part of the pattern to the next, and we've stated where we're starting from. As usual, I'm going to give you some examples. I want you to ha have a go and I want you to work out the term to term rule. So on E, we've got the numbers 11, 14, 17, 20. On F, we've got the numbers 38, uh, 34, 30, 26, and G will have the numbers, uh, let's have a think, oh, let's do that one, 15, 8, uh, 1, minus 6. So again, I want to know what the term to term rule is by working out the steps from each term to the next and where we're starting from. As usual, pause the video, check back in to find out how you describe these three sequences. So, as normal, we look at it in two parts. The first part, we need to find out what we're doing to move from one step in the sequence to the next. And here we are adding three. We then need to find out where we're starting from. So we're starting from 11. Next sequence here. We are going down and we're minusing four or subtracting four. And again, where are we starting from here? Final one. This time we're subtracting seven and we're going into negative numbers there. And again, look where we start. I'm just going to slide that up slightly so it's all on the page. So when we are describing sequences, we need both what we're going up in steps and where we're starting from. Right. Now, the other part that we're doing for this work is we're generating sequences. Now, when you're generating a sequence in mathematics, you're making it, you're creating it. And by that, what we mean is that we are going to be given the step and where we're starting and we need to find the sequence. So let's look at some examples. I am telling you we are going up each time we are adding six and we are going to be starting from eight. Oops, hold on. I just realised that's off the page. I apologise for that. So, add six, starting from eight. So, as before, we need to know where we start from and we need to know what our steps are. So, we know that we're going to start from eight. So, I can put eight immediately into that box for the first term. We know that we are adding six each time. So therefore, we can just now do the arithmetic. Eight plus six is 14. Oh, wrong pen, keep the colour coding going, Mrs. Patmore. 14 plus six is 
14. 14 plus 6 is 20. 20 plus 6 is 26. 26 plus 6 is 32. It's also worth reminding us that in sequences you have commas between numbers in a list. OK, so this way it's clearly separating out which number is which. OK, another example. I, I'm telling you this time we are going to add just a half. And we are going to start with three. So again, for the same principle, we know we need a starting position and we know that we are going to be adding a half. So all I'm doing is I'm rewriting the instructions before I've put any of these numbers in. Starting with three, we're going to add a half. So we will get three and a half, four. Oops, four and a half. Oh, helps if I write it properly. Four and a half, five. Final example. This time we are going to be subtracting four and we're going to be starting with nine. Again, I'm colour coding it so I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm starting with 9, subtracting 4. 9 subtract 4 is 5. 5 subtract 4 is 1. 1 subtract 4 is minus 3. Minus 3 subtract 4 is minus 7. So here we have generated the sequence. Now, in your tasks, what I want you to do is I want you to generate the first five terms, i.e. when you're doing this, we want to see five numbers in the sequence. Now, in assessment questions, if you were told to generate the first five terms, you'd normally be two to three marks per question. If you only generated four and you've been told five, you'd lose marks. And likewise, if you generated too many, you would also lose marks. So always check to see how many terms they want you generating, how many numbers they want in the pattern. So your questions are H, I, J, K, L, M. Just make it easier for me to stick to the same pattern. So we are going to be adding four and starting with seven. We are going to be subtracting a half this time and we will be starting with ten. And on this final one, we are going to be subtracting 11 and we are going to be starting with 28. Pause the video, work through these three and then check back in to see if you've got the correct answers. OK, now as you can see, while I've been away or you've been away doing your work, I've just drawn the boxes in for ease. So, again, working to the same principle as before. We need, we know we're starting with 7, so 7 is going in that starter position here. We know we are adding 4. 
we do the calculation. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 4 is 15. 15 plus 4 is 19. 19 plus 4 is 23. We're told we need five terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Job done. Next one, starting with 10, we are minusing a half. So again, jotting it down to help us. Then we're doing the calculations. 9 minus half is 9 and a half. 9 and a half minus a half is just a 9. Minus a half is 8 and a half. Minus a half is 8. Final one, starting with 28, and every time we are subtracting 11. So again, I'm jotting it down to make sure that I've got all my working out clearly shown. 28 minus 11 takes us down to 17. 17 minus 11 takes us down to 6. 6 minus 11, well, if we use six of those up, it takes us to zero. We've got five still to go down, so we're down to negative five. And negative five minus 11 takes us to negative 16. And again, one, two, three, four, five, we've generated the five terms. So whenever we're generating sequences or describing sequences, we need to sh clearly show where you're starting from what the steps are going from term to term and make sure we're showing enough terms of the sequence.